see those cows? There's a story there too. Aside from being Chronicle's unofficial mascot, they were made in Massachusetts at the one-time Union Products of Lemonster, home to the widely popular breed of pink flamingo lawn ornaments. And that's where we met the equally entertaining and quirky couple responsible for these plastic wonders. Meet Nancy Featherstone, homemaker and seamstress. I've made all of my clothes since I was 12 years old. This is the only frog manufactured you could actually wear comfortably. Meet Donald Featherstone, inventor and manufacturer of the pink flamingo lawn ornament. I say if you've got a really bad lawn, the more flamingos you put out, the less you'll notice the lawn. Separately, you may not notice anything unusual about the Featherstones. Put them together, though, and a pattern starts to emerge. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through it together. For better or worse. 24 hours a day. In plaids and in prints. 365 days a year. The Featherstones have dressed alike every day since 1979. You name the occasion, we're ready. So here's the obvious question, why? Because it's fun. Everything's hung two by two. Yeah. So when you go to the closet to pack for a trip or something, you just pull out two. In designing their duds, Nancy follows one rule. We don't do unisex. I don't wear slacks. Donald doesn't wear skirts. I don't wear ties. Together, wherever we go. You get the picture. <laughs> Characters. We've met our share. I even work with a few. Sometimes we find them, and sometimes they find us. Hi there, it's me again. I don't have to be a professor of linguistics to know the rules of English grammar. Is it me or I? Him or he? Further or farther? Flout or flaunt? My challenge tonight to hopefully go, irregardless of where, regardless of word, on an assignment who many would not, should it be which, put up with, or should it be up with which put. <sighs> How's your English? English, very well, very good, very well. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Better than adequate. I don't think it's that great. Grammar and usage. It's a minefield out there. What's wrong here? Check out the sign. 12 items or less. Strictly speaking, it should read 12 items or fewer. No one's ever mentioned it. Fewer is for countable items, as in fewer cans. Less is for the uncountables, like air or gasoline. You wouldn't say fewer water. It makes purists crazy. Now, why have you felt so strongly sometimes that you've actually picked up the phone and called Chronicle? Well, because I think people that uh, are in the electronic media are uh, affecting the language. This is Peter Tibbetts in East Boston suggesting that you stop abusing the language and I won't have to leave annoying messages. It is referred to as cardistry, a mesmerizing blend of card manipulation and artistry. How many hours did it take you to learn how to do that? That one was my entire childhood. Yes, it's just a simple deck of cards, but it has been Shin Lim's ticket to a magical ride. Wait, this is our show. It's called Penn and Teller Fool Us. When we're in airports and stuff and people recognize us, they ask us about you. <laughs> <laughs> we're curious to see how Shin Lim's talents translate to the decidedly undramatic setting of a kitchen table in Acton. No lights, smoke, or music. After some last-minute managerial fixes on Shin's hairdo, he runs through a series of tricks. <gasps> How? How? Then, Shin promises to go slow so we can see him move a card from the middle of the deck to the top. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Okay. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Yes. And then maybe you'll be able to okay. figure it out. Right? So okay. it's First, I, I randomly pick up the king of spades and sign it. So watch your king. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it? I'm watching Into it. Into the middle? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to push it in the middle for now. Yeah. But I'll be very fair. It's not on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, it's not on the top. Yeah. So it's in the middle. All right, now, I was fair. I didn't roll my sleeves up. So I'm going to roll my sleeves up. The card's going to go to the top. I'm going to make it vanish. Ready? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't, nope. think, I don't think you learned anything. Sorry, nope. that was just, I was kidding. I'm sorry, that was, that was my fault. All right, thank you very much.